Good morning and welcome to Live in a Greenhouse on YouTube. If you're new here, this channel is about my journey to design, build, and then live in the first greenhouse enclosed tiny home in the United States. I've spent a few hours walking around and looking at the space from various angles. With the house and the pool foundation in place, I've been able to stand at the edge of where the walls will be and get a sense for what the views will be. But without the floor in place, I haven't actually been able to walk around the rooms yet. And that's where we start this week. This episode, we start the day after the end of the last video with materials delivery and Mike the Carpenter starting his first day on the job. So stay tuned and see what it's like to actually build a house inside a greenhouse. As usual, the material delivery came on an early ferry and arrived before the workers. At least with daylight savings time, it is now light out at early 30. This is the first time I'd seen a forklift like this. It could twist and turn almost like a backhoe to drop the load just off the driveway. This load includes the lumber for the sill, the insulation that goes between the concrete and the sill, tar paper, nails, and joist hangers. Mike's first day on site meant a lot of tools to load in. The compressor and extension cords plug into power at the trailer pad, so there are also cords and hoses to run. Matt gave Mike an orientation with the plans and then let him look around while he got Dave started on his tasks for the day. Deciding what materials to separate for recycling versus garbage so Dave can clear away the dunnage and scrap from the greenhouse construction and make room for the framing scrap. This is Dave's first time in the greenhouse since the post went up. Good idea to check level on a foundation poured by somebody else. Mike lays insulation to seal gaps between the concrete and sill. Then Mike measured and cut the post that will hold the beam supporting the floor joist. I wasn't expecting a second material delivery on the same day. This one includes the floor joist. Glad they're here today since Mike will be ready to install them tomorrow. Mike dry fit each of the posts that will carry that main floor beam. Then Mike set the beam.
a large delivery this morning. Well, not large compared to a standard size house, but one of the largest for this project that included the framing lumber, wall and roof sheathing. Measuring and marking the joist hanger locations. There were about 30 joists, so it was long and monotonous to mark 60 positions. With the moisture barrier and joist hangers attached, Mike worked on the beam for the long side of the shower while the area was still clear to maneuver. Then set each joist into place and set blocking between each joist at the beam. I think Mike doesn't like being filmed. So after today, I didn't get much of him working and mostly waited until he was taking a lunch break or gone for the day. This beam had to be attached to the concrete, which meant drilling. The shower will be no threshold wheelchair accessible. This area needed to be lowered so that when all the shower flooring layers are added, it will be level with the rest of the floor. The crawl space will be a little less than four feet tall with some mechanical equipment down there, but mostly a lot of storage space, which is usually in short supply in a tiny home. Finally, time to lay the subfloor, which is a lot of measure, cut, glue, nail, repeat. Nate started on site today He's been working with Matt, my builder, for a number of years at a few different trades. Today, as a second carpenter. The sheathing is notched around the bolts that hold down the sill plate.
gluing each sheet will help prevent squeaks. and a lot of nails. Not quite t-shirt temp inside, but coming soon. Spring has sprung outside the greenhouse. I can't wait to start planting inside the greenhouse. It was a productive few days, but of course, as soon as the guys left, I did a walkabout. Enter through the bedroom to go hang out in the living room. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and come back next time to see the walls go up.